In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and use a printer config file for your 3D printer when using Clipper. This series is sponsored by PCBWay. This is the third video in a series which shows you how to complete each part of the Clipper setup. In the first and second videos in the series, I showed you how to install an operating system onto your Raspberry Pi, and then how to use Kaya to install all of the parts of Clipper that you need. If you don't have some kind of device with all of the parts of Clipper installed, then go and do that first and come back. The configuration or config file holds all of the information about your 3D printer so that your Clipper device knows how to operate it correctly. It's very important that all of the information in this config file is correct, and thankfully it's very likely that there will be a ready-made file for your 3D printer available online for you to download and use. To find a directory of many different Clipper config files, follow the link in the description to go to the Clipper config directory and search for your 3D printer. If you've modified your printer by changing or adding anything that requires a different way of controlling it, then you may need to look into changing a couple of settings within this configuration file to make everything work correctly. For instance, if you've installed a BL Touch bed probe on your machine like I have with my Ender 3 version 2, then you need to find a configuration file that includes the BL Touch section, or you may need to look into adding it yourself. As you can probably imagine, there are many different ways that you could modify a 3D printer, and there's no way I could cover them all in this video, so I'll have to go through those in separate videos. For now, I'll just show you what to do with that config file when you find one for your printer. If you can't find a config file for your printer, then instead search for your printer's control board. Once you find one, download that config file and save it somewhere that's easy to find later. Before I show you what to do with that config file, I just want to briefly tell you about one of the other surprising services that PCBWay, our series sponsor, can provide. I once heard someone say something which has stuck with me, and that is that if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you've invested in an expensive tool like a 3D printer, it's very tempting to try to use it to solve every problem, but it's not always the best tool for the job. That's why I love PCBWay and the variety of things that they can do. One of the other services that they offer is laser cutting. Rather than investing in an expensive laser cutter for those odd jobs you might need it for, try PCBWay for a quick quote and see if they might be a better option for you. Now, let's have a look at what to do with that config file that you've just downloaded. So saving the config file is really easy. You just log into your Raspberry Pi as you did before using a web browser from a computer on the same network as your Raspberry Pi. Once you're in here, you just go down to machine, back to all of those config files. Delete the printer.cfg file that's already in there. That's not the right one for your printer. And then simply click on the upload file and select your config file that you downloaded earlier. Now you have to rename this to just simply printer.cfg or it won't work. Rename it by right clicking on it, clicking rename, and then removing anything else other than just printer.cfg. Okay, we've now uploaded our printer config file. Your Clipper installation now has all of the configuration information it needs about your 3D printer to be able to operate it properly. But as yet, it doesn't know which port you're going to connect that printer to on your Raspberry Pi. We're going to tell it that very shortly. And also your 3D printer doesn't have the right firmware on it. Click here to go to the next video in the series where I show you how to create that firmware file for your 3D printer using your Clipper device. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.